everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kara. If you're new here, welcome. Glad you're here. This is an awesome tips community. I share what works for me, what doesn't work for me. Yeah. It's a very unique community, but my goal here is to basically just share what has worked, what hasn't worked, and encourage y'all to do the same. Today's video is actually going to be a topic that maybe uh, we don't really share too much about in the general population. <laughs> As I say, who wants to talk about bathroom smells? But it's a reality. It's a part of this human body. We eat, we digest, we produce. We have to have that output go somewhere, whether it be traditionally speaking with the bottom that we were given or if it's another bottom that has been created. So in this video, I'm just going to share a couple of tips that have worked for me and something unique that my husband actually brought home. He works at a school as a custodian and he has been learning amazing things. Do y'all have a husband that can really clean? I hit the jackpot. <laughs> so he brought home a really interesting project and it involves washer pellets, those things that you put in the washing machine to make it smell nice, water, and a sprayer. That's it. Now, this is not something that you will use in your pouch. This is something that you will spray maybe before you empty, maybe after, but you can also leave it in the bathroom because whoever else is in your house, they can use it too, just spray. It's great and it's inexpensive and it lasts a long time. And then I also have another favorite product. This Hexon spray it smells like linen, completely smells like linen. It's just absolutely amazing. I found this the first time I had C. diff, but they gave me this to take home. It was absolutely amazing. If you've ever had C. diff or know somebody who has had it, you know what that smells like. This is an absolutely amazing product. It doesn't mask odors. It literally destroys the odors. So I love it. It's a little on the expensive side, but it works great. Now I found another product at Dollar Tree, which is really dollar and a quarter tree now. I don't know if it is near you, but they've gone up 25 cents on just about everything, except for some food items. But for $1.25, you can get one of these. This one you actually spray in the bowl. It helps a little bit. It's a masker though. So kind of like the washer pellets, it's an odor eliminator. Okay, so now for the inside of the pouch, because those other products that I mentioned, you don't put those inside the pouch. These products are ones that you would leave in your pouch, Either you could do it every day if you needed to. For myself, I don't need it every day. So the product lasts me several months just because I'm just sparingly with it, but also because I don't eat a lot of traditionally odorful foods. So I don't get a lot of the gassy stuff going on because that's not part of my diet. But when I do, I try to remember to put that in my pouch first. So let's say I know I'm gonna have fish tonight or tuna fish. I will go ahead and put some in the pouch because I know a few hours down the road, it's gonna smell. And it's also not just for the odor elimination or preventing the odors. It also has a slippery feel to it. So it's also a lubricant. So you can either spray it from the top of your pouch if you have a two piece, you can just kind of lift up on the flange and squirt it in and then close it back up. Or you can open up the bottom end of your pouch and kind of carefully face the neck up towards the ceiling, pour it in, close it back up again. That works really well too. And especially at night, if you really need that or you find you've got that pancaking going on, I feel like I could do a video just on pancaking alone. But just to mention that here, the lubricants that you get uh, that have the great smell to them as well, just 
make sure that they are double duty, so to speak. That way it will work for both needs. You can prevent the pancaking and you can prevent the smells. So I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if this is the first time you're hearing about a way to be able to control odors. I know if I was still working in an office environment and using the office bathrooms, I would definitely want to have something. When I was in school after my ostomy surgery, I always carried the smaller packets with me. These are actually the sort of sample type packets, but they're to go, so you can just put them in your purse and that way you always have it with you in case you forgot to do it in the morning before you left for work or school. So I also wanted to show you that these can easily be placed into travel bottles. You can get a package of three of these at Dollar Tree for a buck, probably a buck 25 now. But this one has just a little squirt top on it and you can squirt that right inside the pouch from the top or the bottom, depending on what you wear, one piece or two piece. And then this is the spray in the larger bottle that I showed you. And look at that, you just go ahead and shake it up and you've got your spray for the outside and then you've got your deodorant for the inside. I put in in here, but I know because of the top, that that's what goes inside. So there, a couple of travel sizes, pretty cool. This being prepared is kind of the name of the game when I would leave the house. So hopefully this has been helpful and if you have any go-tos, put them down in the comments so we can go ahead and collaborate as a community. I appreciate you watching this video, sticking to the end, and I will see you on the next one. These are work too. Cheaper than Home Depot.